Yes. Now, without further ado, I'm going to bring out Angela Ard. She is the Associate Professor of English and Journal Journalism at Boston College. She's going to moderate the discussion with Mr. Barry Jenkins. Please give her a round of applause. <laughs> Now this brother, I want you guys to stand up and give him the respect that is due. This is, the, first of all, Moonlight. How many, all y'all saw Moonlight? I'm not gonna go through his whole dossier, but Moonlight was brilliant. And it was funny, the first time I saw it was at a SAG screening in New York and my girlfriend was like, I'm gonna take you to see Moonlight. I'm like, what Moonlight, what is this? She goes, just, let's just go see it. Blown away, amazing. Now he's doing If Beale Street Could I This is my favorite, favorite James Baldwin novel. And we saw the clips before you guys came in. You're going to love it too. So Martha's Vineyard, get on your feet and welcome Academy Award winning director, Barry Jenkins. Thank you all. So where, where is all the wine, since they call it Martha's Vineyard? I'm just curious. <laughs> I didn't see no, no grapes and stuff when we was driving there from the airport. Hey, what would you say? Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Arts. I'm looking for the wine, too. I've never been to Martha's Vineyard. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, we're still working on this film, so the things we're going to show you all nobody uh, has seen. Uh, I'm very curious to see how they look and sound. As I was in New York this morning doing color correction, I'll be in LA on Monday uh, doing some more sound mixing. But uh, when they called us up and said that they wanted to show uh, some scenes from the film, what I said was, does that mean the president is going to get to watch these clips? Because I know, <laughs> I, I know the Obamas you know, have a place here. You know, they probably got the one vineyard nobody's allowed to go on to. But <laughs> Um, but because of that, I was like, yeah, of course, I would love to, uh, love to come out and show some things. And so um, we're going to sit up here and, and talk a bit and, and, and watch some stuff. Uh, we're actually going to start by showing uh, the teaser for the film. Even though the film was not done, uh, uh, August 2nd was the anniversary of James Baldwin's birth. And so we wanted to, because people have been asking me what's going on with the movie, you know, did y'all actually shoot it? So we wanted to release some proof that we did shoot it. Um, <laughs> And we packaged that into what I think is a, a love letter. I think a representation of the film we made, but also a love letter to Mr. Baldwin. So I think we'll kick things off by showing uh, this teaser for If Bill Street Could Talk. All right, so good evening. Uh, I, first, I want to start just thanking the organizers for having me here. It's a great pleasure to be here with Barry Jenkins and with all of you, so thanks for coming out. Um, Barry, my first question is really just a process, a question about process, the process of ad adaptation. Um, you've talked about with Moonlight how that story so resonated with you, uh, Terrell McCraney's uh, play of uh, growing up in the projects in Miami that it was easy to connect to that voice and bring that play to the screen. Talk to us a little bit about Baldwin. What is it about Baldwin? What is it about this novel that drew you to it? Yeah, a, a part of it was uh, the first job I ever had in Hollywood, I worked for Harpo Films. I worked for Miss Winfrey uh, <laughs> way back in 2003, 2004. And uh, Miss Winfrey's company, Harpo Films, uh, they only do adaptations exclusively. So my first training uh, in film, I was a director's assistant on the Harpo film, The Eyes Are Watching God, uh, which was adapted by, uh, by Susan Laurie Parks, I believe, um, and directed by Darnell Martin. So right away, I was getting this sort of groundwork and work, working in adaptations. Um, and then Moonlight happened, uh, working from Terrell's uh, material. And as you said, we both literally grew up blocks from one another, had the same experience. Both our moms went through this experience being addicted to crack cocaine. Um, and then the Bill Street Talk came along, and I, I wrote these scripts at the same time, hmm. and they're both adaptations, which even though I have a college degree, I don't think of very often, I'll make that connection, but um, I remember working on them literally uh, over the span of two months. I wrote both these screenplays and thinking, 
Here's a depiction of one black family. This is the black family I grew up in. My mom is true, was addicted to crack cocaine. Here's another depiction of a black family, and I think they both kind of coexist within the spectrum of the black experience in America. Not, neither one of them can speak for every black American's experience, and yet, if they come through me, they'll be coming through the same voice. And so here is one mother, and here's another mother. Here's one father, here's another father. One father happens to be a surrogate father who deals drugs in the corner, and yet he's still loving. And this other father, played by Coleman Domingo in this film, you know, actually has a job. He's a longshoreman, and he's just as loving. Uh, so I approached them uh, the same way. And the beauty, I'm glad we just showed this teaser and you asked that question, because to me, the beauty of Baldwin was the language is visual. And so putting together a teaser for this film was very easy because you just slap Baldwin on it and you got visual poetry, you know? That's not me, that's Baldwin, you know? Um, and I felt like if I just, if I could insert myself enough where I wasn't getting in the way of James Baldwin, the adaptation would work. And that was how we approached it. So I did have a question about the structure of the novel. There are all these flashbacks. I have a question about the structure of the novel, too. <laughs> I've been trying to answer them for nine months. Oh, so that's my question to you. Like, how are you working through that so you're still working through it? Uh, you know, Moonlight has what people call a radical structure because it's told uh, in these three acts uh, as a triptych. I guess the radicalism is in the fact that three different actors play the same character. Uh, this is way, way beyond. It's like I'm in elementary school in Moonlight compared to the structure uh, of this film. Uh, but I think anybody who's read uh, Baldwin uh, will recognize that the power is in um, uh, the beauty and the shock of the metaphors and also in the uh, elliptical quality um, of the stories that he's weaving. In this one in particular, because it's told through Tish, she's becoming a woman you know, at a rate that's faster than anybody's coming of age should have to, uh, should have to evolve. Um, and because of that, her consciousness is slipping through all these different phases. So, Rather than take the book and try and force it into a structure that was much more linear, I thought we could just lean in. Um, and if there was a way to really bring people into the body of Tish through this actress, Kiki Lane, who's amazing, that we would succeed in the same way the novel did. So I didn't try and break it or reinvent it. I just kind of went with it. Let's look at the next clip. So we're going to show this clip real quick. I got to set it up just a little bit. So how many people in here have read the book, If Bill Street Could Talk? See, this is how I know on where I'm at, because that's more hands than I've ever seen go up when I ask that question in the audience. <laughs> Much respect to y'all. Uh, this clip that's being set up, um, you're going to see some of the nonlinear non quality of the piece. It's going to be a 10 minute clip. This will be the longest clip we'll show. But I'll set it up just by saying that before this scene, uh, the scene you see at the top of the teaser where she says, Mama, that's something I got to tell you. Uh, she tells her mother that she is pregnant. Um, she has told everyone but Papa. <laughs> So as you watch this scene, you're about to see the whole family brace for Papa to receive this news. Um, and without ado, the first clip from, yes, that's the reaction I wanted. First clip from the Bill Street could talk. <laughs> 